Hi everyone, welcome to the C programming course. In this course now we are going to see what exactly the function categories. Let's proceed to the second category of the function to the turbo C plus ID. Okay, this is what the point where we started. In the last session we have seen this code which is for no argument and no return let me just modify the same code so okay, let me just refresh it in a one minute this is where we can just identify it is no argument nothing is passed to the function no return means void is provided now i will just modify this with the second category no argument with return now, since it is no argument so again the main function is nothing but the calling function over here this is what the calling function who is actually calling to whom add function for doing the addition of numbers so here since return is done so in order to save the return certain variable which is obtained from this let's say call of add so I will just write down here x equal to add <coughs> now this add function returns the integer type of value so here I will add the int that is integer or you can skip this one because by default the function can return the integer type of value so here I'll just cut this particular line and paste it at this particular point okay so let me tell you what exactly I am doing so since this function returns the integer value I need to write here return C okay why C because it is storing the addition of this A as well as B and that's why the C value C is to be written and this C is having the data type that is integers that's why the same data type is mentioned as a return type of this add function now since this add is returning something it has to store to the variable of the same type so x is taken as an integer return of this add is stored to x and the same result we just want to display so addition is I will just write down here addition is percent D this time instead of C I need to write as an X because it's a value of C is now stored to X and the same is displayed now this is where the call of the function is done and definition is done now the same kind of modification has to be done to the return type so that it will become the second category for no argument with return now let's compile this code and run it so again it will show the addition is 66 this time just uh, use the clrs here so that the earlier output will be clear so let me just add it okay so this is what the result of addition but by using the second category of the function so that is all about the function in the next lecture, we will see the third category of the function. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.